unidentified for obvious reasons. Imagine that. Can we uh, can we talk about you? Absolutely not. Well, we're going to do it anyway. The unidentified 54-year-old waited two days. So he stuck an ass up his weight. Other way around. He stuck a weight up his ass. Simon and Lord Ahill here. Thank you for joining me, as always, in our short run of no edit videos. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please click the little card thing that pops up. And you can watch yesterday's video where I explain all like Carissa... Hey, <laughs> today, I just want to thank the person that sent this to me on Instagram, Simon316, and described it as a workout fitness video. Now, the headline, I have it down here, is Brazilian man shoves a two kilogram dumbbell in his rectum. <laughs> Only for the 20 centimeter long wait to get stuck, leaving doctors no choice but to pull it out with their hands. Now, again, I would like to show you this article, but with my gammy hand, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. But I will wow you. <laughs> with the exploits of this story. Because a Brazilian man who shoved a dub on his rectum needed to get it yanked out by surgeons. Don't you enjoy how uh, modern media <laughs> describes things? The unidentified, for obvious reasons. Imagine that. Can we, uh, can we talk about you? Absolutely not. Well, we're going to do it anyway. The unidentified 54-year-old waited two days. So he stuck an ass up his weight, other way around. He stuck a weight up his ass for 48 hours, and he then sought medical attention after failing to extract the metal weight himself. Metal too, at least use a plastic one. He turned up to hospital complaining of abdominal pain, nausea, and being unable to defecate. Well, I wonder why. Because your crap was trying to come out, but there was a weight there. After an examination of his rectal region found no sign of what might be causing his symptoms, doctors ordered an x-ray of his abdomen. Bro, why did you put them through this? Why didn't you just tell them what you'd done? You can't get away with this. <laughs> Eventually, they're going to figure it out. You stuck a weight up your ass. Medics who suggested the unusual case was of a sexual nature. So, I don't know. Maybe he just loves bodybuilding and weightlifting. And he thought, well, maybe if I shove it up my bum, it's going to be nice. I don't know. I want to judge anybody. Said the man was uncooperative <laughs> during the physical examination. <laughs> The x-ray revealed a dumbbell, which was almost eight inches long, was lodged where the colon meets the rectum. Medics sedated the man for their attempted extraction involving surgical tweezers, but couldn't remove the dumbbell. And this is when you get the twist. Left with no other option, the team opted for the manual extraction involving the surgeon shoving in their forearm. So there was a guy, picture this in your head, please. It's important. Laying down, sedated. Oh, what's going on? Where's my weight? I love dumbbells so much. And then a guy or a girl had to go in there with their arm like this, right? And stick it right up their ass in order to get the dumbbell out. We're a very weird species. And then I say, such a shame you can't see the, the picture that I can see. Uh, writing in the International Journey of Surgery case reports, they claimed it was fraught with difficulties, but ended up a success with the man discharged after three days in hospital. Doctors said the majority of painters admitted with retained rectal objects are white men. <laughs> Of course. Between the ages of 20 and 40. I mean, we just think we can do whatever we want, don't we? Sexual gratification is the most commonly reported reason for getting objects stuck. This is partly to do with the number of nerves in the anus, making it highly sensitive. For men, it can almost stimulate the prostate. I mean, talk about expanding this article. Uh, an erogenous region of the reproductive system. For women, it can also indirectly stimulate pleasurable centers in the vagina. Medics also said many patients only turn up to A&E after repeated failed attempts to get it out themselves. In this case, the man is expected to suffer no long-term complications apart from sadness and embarrassment every single day but the authors of the report said other cases can result in internal injuries no crap no pun intended and a doctor did not tell us when it took place and apparently nhs doctors spend around about 300 grand a year extracting items out of british rectums so there's some trivia you can drop maybe it'll come up in a pub quiz <laughs> how much how much do NHS doctors spend a year on taking objects out of people's bums and you can say 300 grand and then people will look at you like how do you know that you can show them me and all the blame will fall on my shoulders uh, the Royal College of Surgeons report that NHS hospitals had removed 3,500 objects basically in the last 10 years and uh, apparently this website which I won't name because it's one of those bad ones but you sent this to me has previously reported on people using toothbrushes, aerosol cans, toy figurines, and eggs in their pursuit of sexual pleasure. And then there's a graph of the rates of rectal foreign body removal. Somebody had to make this. And again, it's one of these incident per annum, and it's men and women. Surprise, surprise, men are sticking far more things up their ass than women are because men are absolute psychopaths. Where, <laughs> where is the comment section on this? It's just giving me... Um, it's doing that thing with just loads article after article. There must be comments on this. Oh no, maybe I have to go to the, the top of the article. It's one of those. There we go. There's 19, there's 191 comments. This has got to be good, surely. 
Uh, Andy tries to defend them and says, I suppose he fell on it by accident. Benji tries to be funny. Dumbass, more like. I see what you did there. Sigmundson says, if we're completely honest, we've all shoved a two, guy, two kilogram dumbbell up our jacksy at some times in our lives. I mean, I'll tell you right now, I've never done that. I've never shoved anything up my ass. <laughs> I never, ever, ever want to. Uh, Joss says, doctor should have left it in there. I mean, if you're that stupid, a man called OK being old scuffs said there's not enough iron in his diet. That's quite good. That's the smartest one so far. We'll do a few more. Angelo Swiss says he enjoyed it so much he will go at it again, but next time with a 4K one. He loves the exclamation mark, that guy. Uh, Spurs says going to be the butt of a few jokes. This is what the comment section has degraded into. Ratter says the usual he sipped on a glaze cherry and fell into it. And then what other I blah, blah. He won't do that again. No, he won't. That was a weight off my mind. Was he a politician? Uh, it was probably innocent doing weights in the shower when he slipped on the shower gel. It happens more than you think. That guy's called the snitch. So he obviously is looking for excuses and then one person gets super political you just know he voted for brexit <laughs> oh we're not even gonna go down that way i don't think it's um i don't think it's worth it and the best one is by kip cargo who says they're gonna make a movie about this dumb and dumbbeller i take it back that's absolutely absolutely atrocious and someone else says good thing it wasn't a treadmill don't ever stick a treadmill up your ass. I mean, I don't think you watch these videos for that kind of information, but there you go. That would be my advice to you as well. Overall, if we are talking about this, don't put anything up your ass, especially your weight. It's not going to help you. You're not going to get any more gains. I mean, if you're desperate to put on, was it two kilograms worth of weight? I just suggest you eat a lot because it's going to be far more pleasurable for you. And when you do need to pass substances you'll be able to because there won't be a massive inanimate object stopping all your uh, your gut or stuff and then, yeah thank you to the person that sent this to me and again this is it made me laugh so much because it was pictures oh simon this would be a good fitness video to react to and i love you very much i'm not going to name who you are but i do appreciate you and then when you click it and you get the whole um uh the, you know the whole uh, brazilian man shows a 2k dumber in his rectum How, where do you even start with that because i mean you can see on the picture that i'll use in the thumbnail it obviously has the curved edges so it's not like, you know, you don't get a dumbbell that's just like flat or just sort of a, you know, a similar, it's like a sphere all the way around. Usually you get the middle part that you grab and then you have the rounded bits at the end. So how on earth do you even, look, man, you do whatever the hell you want to do. Whatever you think is going to make you happy, you should do. But I don't think you should be wasting the NHS or any kind of hospital. Actually, it wasn't the NHS, it was in Brazil. I don't think you should be wasting any hospital person's time. It's what I'm trying to tell you when there are real dangers going on. And if you do do this and you do need to go to a local medical facility, just tell them straight away. So stop all the scans. <laughs> just say, look, here's what I did and I massively regret it. So that's a video that we can't take back. However, these are the kind of videos that I do think are awesome when I can't edit because of my hand, as already mentioned. Um, I did nothing of the sort with this hand, by the way. <laughs> this is resting injury before anybody says anything but again please join the next few weeks as it does start to heal when i can start editing again please send me anything like this at simon316 on twitter or at simon316 on instagram and give me a follow as well because we all know when we see our follow count go up that uh, gives us a nice ego rub and i could do with one of those right now also please do like the video share the video and subscribe to the bell ding ding so you know when other videos are going live there will be another video on the screen give that a click just click it and leave i don't care it's good for the youtube algorithm right now i need to fight back youtube does not like me at all for one reason or another uh what else do you do spam the comment section go to grillamine.com forward slash simon if you use code simon right now you can get money off good money off too i mean you get 10 percent off all the time anyway but you can get good money off grillamine pre-workout which is my favorite pre-workout you can believe me you cannot believe me it's totally up to you but if you do that basically for the rest of the day if you're watching this day one you'll get mega savings so you should do it also in great new sets power 13 cookbook all the information is in the description below if you want to see it that way patreon.com forward slash simon 316 to support me with money let's be honest with you simon.pickup Hotel.com if you want some merch. I'm on Cameo doing those again. Always fun. You can ask whatever you want. You can have a pep talk. You can have fitness tips. I'll you know have some fun with it. Happy birthday. Happy Christmas. Happy Con or Happy Cons or whatever it may be. And I think that's everything. I usually forget something I don't think I have. Uh, apologies again for the sheer lack of effort when it comes to editing. But honestly, even clipping these things together at the moment is hell. And I'm probably doing too much with it because it really hurts. So I do need to rest it. However, I'm also an absolute psychopath when it comes to this stuff. And I also get how YouTube works, right? Daily uploads. And we did miss a lot because of my crazy schedule. This doesn't make things any better. But look, remember this too. You'll be going through your own, your own trials and obstacles in your own life. Just deal with them as best you can. Nothing wrong with having a few negative days, but know that it's always going to get better and you'll get through it and you'll learn from it and you'll be a better person because of it because that's just what happens. Experiences do that to us. It's the same with me. I'm going to do it as well. You take care. I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>